How to upgrade MySQL 5.1 to latest version of MySQL say 5.5 through cPanel. So in this video tutorial, I am explaining you how you can upgrade MySQL 5.1 to latest version or 5.5 through the cPanel. So first of all, you have to log into the cPanel using root account. Before this, you connect to the MySQL database server and take the backup. For this, use the party tool to connect to the Linux server and use this command mysql dump minus, minus all minus databases and then greater than sign all underscore databases dot sql. So it will take the backup of your all data in the mysql. Now you can start with the upgradation of the mysql through cPanel. So log into cPanel as root and you will find a link like this last attempt to upgrade cPanel or WHML was blocked. If there is no issue, you, you won't find this type of error. Then in the next thing is to go to the details link and you will find that uh, the old version of MySQL and now so you can click on MySQL upgrade link here and the installer will show the steps for uh, upgrading the MySQL server. So first of all, you just select the what is to be upgraded so MySQL 5.0 so by default in is uh, MySQL 5.0 is as a selected and this is the version that that is installed on the computer on the Linux server then uh, you can select the latest version of the MySQL so in case my case it was 5.5 at the time of upgrade and it was done in around uh, December 2010 and then click the next button and then you can select all the upgrade options then in the step 7 you just select rebuild apache and php automatically with the last save defaults now the mysql upgrade will start in the step 7 and it is upgrading and you will see the output like this here and once the build is complete after the upgrade you will log into the server as root and then restart the mysql server copy the my.cnf and restart so uh, if you have all some setting that you want to use you can use the previous or you can just uh, copy some of the setting from the old configuration file into the new my.cnf file and then restart the mysql after this you should be able to restart in some cases it is it is saying that uh, mysql pid file could not be found or it is failed so you should locate the my.cnf file now use the following command to create my.cnf file from any of the above file in my case i am using my small.cnf file use the following command to copy the file so we are copying this to etc slash my cnf so my cnf file is copied and now i should be able to restart the mysql so service mysql restart and it is started the mysql server now you can restore the data from the backup that we have taken if there is some issue with the data now you can start your uh, applications and verify the application that is connecting to the mysql server and it has got all the data in most of the cases we don't have to uh, restore the data as uh, the upgrade automatically takes care of upgrading the data as well in the process of mysql upgradation so in this video i just explain you the steps to upgrade the mysql database server using the cpanel you can visit our website and in the MySQL section, you will find thousands of tutorials of MySQL and SQL. You can also check our homepage to learn the technologies like Hibernate, Struts Framework, XML, Spring, Java, Core Java, Advanced Java, Testing Frameworks, and so on. So we have thousands of tutorials on these uh, topics. Thanks for watching the video and subscribe our channel.